so far to Harbor Wolf. Like it or not, for the moment, the Earth is where we make our sand. All right. Well, the last time we did this, the world of being a reality-denying conspiracist was not looking very good. We checked in on three different flirts to see what they were up to these days, finding JM Truth kicked out of his own production and accused of embezzling donated funds, Anthony Riley pissing into a jar live on stream, and Nathan Thompson crying in a park about how his life was in shambles because he knows the truth and nobody wants to hear it. So, let's do the same thing again, shall we? What are the flurfs up to now? First up, everyone's favorite child accosting cartoon character, Thompson. Let's have a look at his recent video, 118 Flat Earth Facts, Alphabetically, and Bouncing a Golf Ball Off a Sledgehammer. Yep, that's what he's up to. We ain't seen no curvature. We ain't seen no curvature. We ain't seen no curvature. Fucking dope beat though, right? Too well produced for the bullshit it's peddling. You are watching a master at work. I just did this left handed in the official Flat Earth group, but I gotta do it right handed too. We gotta train both sides. Both sides of what, Nathan? Your body is stick thin. Train both sides of the zero muscles you have on your arms? Come on. So, let's do it again. Thanks for that advice. Skip it, I will. That was better than last time. All right. If you're curious, he spent the last minute juggling while reciting numbers. Very impressive, if you're an idiot. Got a fresh new ball. Remember, you can lead a globe earther to flat water. You cannot make them think critically about the shape of the earth. But I'm going to give you at least 100 things you should research before ever trying to debate a flat earther. Here we go. Wait a second, the title of this video is 118 Flat Earth Facts, but you just called it 118 Things You Should Research Before Debating a Flat Earther. And now, by your own admission, less than two minutes into this 12 minute video, there are no facts to be found. But let's continue anyway. <clears throat> now we're doing it right handed, because I did it left 30 seconds ago. Here we go. Second law of thermodynamics, abyssal plane, accelerometer, Aries failure. Wait, 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 wait. Get the fuck out of here, Natalie. You're just listing things that have literally nothing to do with Flat Earth, and you put this out as a video of facts? You lying piece of shit. Let's go over the few he just listed individually and take care of them, and then move on because I'm already annoyed. Number one. Second law of thermodynamics. So, we've all heard this before. The false FE claim that the existence of the vacuum of space violates the second law of thermodynamics. Let's find a proper definition of that law, shall we? The second law of thermodynamics is also known as the law of entropy and states that when energy changes from one form to another, the amount of entropy increases. In many broader ways, the law states that things tend to equalize over time, and even explicitly states that the atmosphere does not due to gravity. The law of entropy says nothing about what the flurfs claim, which is that a pressurized system cannot exist without a barrier, and the law itself is disrupted by our knowledge of gravity. Next. Number two. Vessel plane. Vessel planes? Is that what he said? Vessel planes. Oh, abyssal planes. Gotcha. So the fact that there's long stretches of relatively flat seafloor means the earth is flat? Have you ever looked into how they determine the flatness of land, Natalie? Here's MC Toon explaining it. All right. One common method of quantifying flatness in geodesy is the flattening ratio. I'm reading from it right here. The length of an ellipse or arcs, semi-major axis is compared with his measured semi-minor minor axis, B, using the formula for flattening. F equals A minus B over A. Number three. Accelerometer. A device that measures acceleration does not prove the flat Earth. Next. Number four. Aries failure. Nope, I'm done. Five-year-old long debunked talking point. Bye, Nathan. Who's next? How about Leaky Warrior? What's he been up to since winning Dumb Fuck of the Year 2019? Here's a video from two months ago called No Apparent Deflection, No Earth Turn. Let's have a look. A 
direct flight, you say? Anthony, what's the shortest distance between two points? A line, correct? Well, when you're on a flat surface, anyway. Why do you think the route has that curve in it? It's called a great circle route. It's the shortest course between two points on the surface of a sphere. You are using a route that only makes sense on a globe to disprove the globe. I'm already done. Who's next? How about Slappy Oakley? What's going on on his channel? Oh, that's a little creepy. Are you guys seeing a recurring theme here? In the past week, that's the past seven days, Oakley has done 14 videos about Simon Dan. Aside from being obviously a little obsessed, you know why he's doing it? It's right here in the numbers. His channel is dying and he knows it. He's effectively turned it into an echo chamber. Nobody wants to turn up and debate in this environment. No, it's a straw man, actually. I'm just looking over water. No, it's not a straw man. You've just asserted the obstruction is caused by Earth so. curve. So, dumb fuck, let's see you draw that well, logical connection, I dumb fuck. This is you is being raped. Let me pin you down, Tim. Hold, let's all hold his arms while I rape him. Yeah, Tim, this is you being raped. Ah, that's so weird. This is you being raped, Tim. That. Well, that was messy. Flirts are still recovering from the many crushing defeats they suffered at our hands. There are some new players rising up, but unfortunately, they're just a less tired looking version of those who came before, spouting the same old arguments with the same old lack of evidence. Well, with this, I think it's time I made an announcement. A request box. Once a week, starting today, I'm going to make a community post where people can comment with the videos they want me to rip into. I know there's a lot of stupid out there, but sometimes it's hard to find, so give the floating head a hand, will you? Patrons and members' recommendations will take priority, but everyone's request will be taken into consideration. Let's find ourselves a new plaything, my friends. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you want to see more, please subscribe and turn on the bell for notifications. If you want to support me further, consider becoming a member or a patron or checking out my merch or my Amazon links. Thank you, and I will see you over the curve, Space Cowboys. In a vast cosmic arena. Our imagined self-importance. The delusion that we have some...